Hello all, in this video I will show you how to run multiple linear regression model using ZAS software. So here this is a model I am going to test. So here I have three independent variables. One is work family balance, job satisfaction and then family satisfaction. These are all my three independent variables. And then I have life satisfaction. So basically I am um, trying to correlate all of these three independent variables with life satisfaction. The possible hypothesis which can be proposed here are uh, H1 is work family balance is positively related to life satisfaction. H2 is job satisfaction is positively related to life satisfaction. H3 is family satisfaction is positively related to life satisfaction. This is the way how you can propose the hypothesis. Now in order to do the analysis you just type JASP in your uh, window after the installation of the software you will be able to get this menu. Now uh, in terms of uh, now in terms of uh, uh, running the regression before that you have to include the data set in your JAS window just click this three horizontal lines and then open in my computer click browse so I have saved my data in desktop just click open you will be able to see the data set. So here job satisfaction is measured using three items family satisfaction is measured using another three items and then life satisfaction is measured using uh, five items similarly work and rebalance is measured using another five items. So if you look at the uh, final four columns this is nothing but the average score for work and rebalance GS and FS as well as LS. So here LS is a dependent variable rest of the three constructs are considered as an independent variable. So in terms of running the regression you go to regression menu and then click linear regression. Now you include the dependent variable in the dependent variable box and then rest of the three variables in the covariate box. If you have any of the categorically measured variables you can include them in the factors. For example certain variables like gender, marital status those things may be measured categorically and if you, if you want to control them in your analysis you can uh, use them as a control variables by including under this factors menu. Need not to create dummy variable system will take care of all those components. Now in the models suppose if you are using um, backward forward stepwise regression there you can uh, uh, even when you, whenever you are trying to do hierarchy linear regression there you can create different set of models. So for that purpose you can use this tab and in the statistics menu you will be able to get uh, additional options like R square change, descriptive statistics and then collinearity diagnostic. Similarly residual statistics, Durban Watson test, all those things can be specified here. And uh, this is uh, using p value as well as f value is highly essential whenever you are using backward regression or forward regression in terms of retaining or excluding the variables on the basis of the p value or on the basis of the f value. That time you can select this option. So you do have uh, uh, some more uh, provisions like uh, creating the plots. For example, when you are trying to check the uh, uh, nor uh, whether your error is normally distributed or not for that purpose you can use this QQ plot. So likewise there are other uh, plots can be created by looking at this particular option. So as and when you include the variables in your uh, uh, dependent variable uh, box as well as covariates box you will be able to get the output. So here I am getting R square is 0.628 overall model is significant. And uh, uh, if you look at the unstandardized coefficients, this is all the unstandardized coefficients I'm getting. And uh, th this is what your beta, standardized, uh, b I mean standardized coefficients are beta. And almost all of these three values are significant uh, uh, at uh, uh, 0.01 level at least or at least 0.05 level because here you get p value as 0.003 this is significant at 0.01 and these two values are highly significant at 0.001 level. So now the conclusion is all of these three hypotheses are supported and based on my expectation I am getting positive coefficients which means that work family balance is positively related to uh, life satisfaction, job satisfaction is also positively related to life satisfaction, family satisfaction is also positively related to life satisfaction. When you want to write this uh, in equation form, so you can write it like this, life satisfaction equal to the constant value is 0 0.178, 0 0.178 and then the value is for work family balance the coefficient is 0 0.129, 0 
this is for work family balance plus 0 0.240 uh, job satisfaction and then plus 0.59 family satisfaction so this is the way how you can uh, uh, write this uh, values in the form of a equation uh, next you can also do one more thing you can also uh, compute the y values by substituting all those uh, values in your uh, raw observation so with the help of that for individual uh, responses i mean for almost uh, the entire data set you will be able to estimate the ls then after that uh, if you see the differences between observed ls score and then your estimated ls score you will be able to estimate the residual values so that's the way how you can also run the analysis manually or you can also still utilize some of the options available in the regression tab. So this is what the QQ plot um, uh, with the help of QQ plot you can also check the normality assumption and here I have collinearity diagnostic and if you look at the VAF values um, if this VAF values are less than 3.3 we can say that the, there is no uh, I mean uh, there are no issue of uh, collinearity according to hair book citation. If you find uh, values like 5 point something or 4 point or 6 point something which means that one of the variable is having some uh, issue with respect to collinearity. For more details you can also refer any of the uh, research method textbooks or maybe um, multivariate data analysis textbooks in terms of understanding what is collinearity and so on. That's it. Thank you.